Hello, I'm Matt. And I'm Rabir. And this is Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. Trying to sound like today. One of my favourite, one of my favourite guitar players at the minute, and that is Mr. Philip Sace. He is uh, a monster, oh. to say the least. He's like you define like n of modern day. He's one of the sort of, in my opinion, one of the best blues players going. Like he just recreated the Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of just filthy, fuzzy, awesome, bluesy, and probably tone. He's done album after album. My favourite album is his first one, which is Peace Machine. Um, so I'll be doing a few tunes off that, and it's just, oh, he's just got such a good tone. It's, it's, it's like passionate playing, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, he feels everything he plays. Yeah, yeah. He's got an original 60s Strat, I think he uses a 50s and 60s Strat, one's called Mother, which is his main one, it's like a cream one. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna find, um, I was thinking Mexican, but to be honest, the Squire classic vibes, do a really good job of getting, particularly do a 60s classic vibe yep, and yep. a 50s classic vibe. Yeah. So I reckon that would be wicked and they're not too expensive. Because as you know, it sounds like we're trying to do the 1500 pound. Yes, clocking in at 15, 1500 British pounds and no more. Yeah, so I'm thinking if we can save and get that classic tone from the guitar, then, because he's a real pedal monster, he's just got loads of pedals. Yeah. And then a Fender amp. Really? He's all Fender. He's, he's a Fender man, yeah. It's the classic blues thing. It? It's the super Stevie Ray Vaughan yeah. sound, basically. And try as I might, I can't sound like, like, I can't play that kind of intense bluesy stuff because I'm, it takes years. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's, it's a way of life. It's not just a, a hobby. He, li he lives and breathes that bluesy guitar playing. Yeah. He's done it since he was a kid. So I'll do my very best to play like that, but we will sure as hell sound like Philip says. If we can save as much as possible on the guitar, um, even though it's probably arguably the most uh, important bit, I think if we can save money because there's so many pedals to get. How many, how many pedals do we have to get? We're talking a wah, yeah. we're talking um, a fuzz, yep. we're talking um, some form of like Echoplex style thing. Yep. Um, what else is really popular that uses uh, a clon? Yeah. So that's four uh, pedals already. And that's going to be about five per quid. Yeah, so. 795. So these are our Squire classics. See, so like, I'm not just saying it, but like 340 quid. Okay, they got a squire. Oh, but it's, we need we need a rosewood. Mm. So he's a ro he's a rosewood fingerboard guy. Yeah, but that's a jazz. That's like a jazz master. Yeah, jazz Jaguar. Masters, yeah. That's got a humbucker in it. So really. So we're left to oh, this old chestnut again. Do you remember this one? I do remember this one. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely guitar. We used this for John Mayer, and it did a great job. It did, yeah. It's yeah. a 60s classic vibe. It looks a lot more than its money. Yeah. Um, 340 pounds, it's an absolute steal. And it sounds great. Yeah. So although it doesn't look much like a Philip Say Strat, even though the, this is right, he was having white scratch plate, but other than that... That's all fairly incidental though. You've got the 60s voice pickups, so yep. we're in the right ballpark. Yeah, let's do it. Yep. We're looking for amps now. We're looking for Fender amps specifically. And have we spotted are. this lovely range of, I think these are sort of limited edition finishes of the Fender Deluxe. Yep. The old Hot Rod Deluxe. They, they are great and they take pedals really well. Yeah. So and they're not too ridiculous. They're fairly priced. I think with one of these and the 340 pound guitar, we'd be knocking about thousand pounds. So we don't need that, this is 767 anyway. This is a Western bit. Noir. Why don't we Although go? he does actually have um, some sort of paisley design on his uh, one of his old school Fender amps actually. I've been told that the brown one has a Celestian D12 speaker in it which sounds killer. Yep. So, I mean, to be fair, if it sounds better, it's only an extra £30. Mm. Lovely. So, as we were saying, Stacey uses... Stacey. Stacey, Stacey. <laughs> she uses loads of pedals. Echo Plus, because that's going to get us a kind of... We're going to try and recreate an Echo Plex type of tone. 
because um, Echoplex, he used quite a lot. He has an original one, which is like this big box that sits oh, next nice. to his amp. And then, did we say the fuzz face as well? Yeah, we're going to use a fuzz face. Now the only thing is that we've got four different fuzz faces <laughs> to try out. You've got Band of Gypsies, which is obviously Hendrix. And then you've got the Hendrix fuzz, which is Hendrix. 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 And he's a big influence on Philip Sace, so... We'll go for we'll one Yeah, we'll just yeah. try We'll try them both out, and then when we get in the room, we'll have decided which one sounds best. Price. So it's 149 for the J-Rad. It's 150, about 100 for that. It's 250. We've got the, we've got the Echo. Echo. Yeah. 140, yeah. about 400. And the yeah. Wah is about 70, so, yep, about 450, 470. And we're going to use the amp, we're going to use the reverb tank in the Deluxe. Yep. So that's it. It's nice reverb. So yeah, we've got the rig, the Philips Ace rig. Let's go try it out. Let's do it. So, we're in the video room and we've got all the gear that we picked out to sound like Mr. Philip Sace. We have indeed. So, we have straight in, it's all in front of the amp, straight into the, the Archer. From the guitar. Yeah, from yeah. the guitar. Um, through the, the, the vibe, into the fuzz face. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then out into the wah. Yeah. Back into the echo pedal, um, which is last in the chain. Yeah. Um, and that's us, straight into the amp. Yeah, back to the amp. Um, we found that if we put the wah before the fuzz, mm. it really was ineffective, so we put oh, it afterwards. It absolutely killed it, didn't it? Yeah. We also chucked in for, well, I think we needed one, really, um, the Vicious Vibe, or Viscous Vibe, even, uh, by CC Electronic. You can use these in different combinations to get the different tones, like we did Echo Puss and the Vicious Vibe, Viscous Vibe, and we got that kind of nice Hendrix-y, like, bluesy chord stuff. Mm. And then we used the Archer and the Fuzz Face together to get our dirty rhythm tones and lead tones. And then we used the Archer and the Wah to get those just the nice bluesy Wah tones. Yeah, and then we used everything just to kind of hurt our ears. Yeah, everything is just insane. Yeah, too much. <laughs> We, we, we decided between the Jimi Hendrix and the Band of Gypsies first face, and the, this particular one has more of that tone that we were looking for. What was kind of funny about it is that even when you roll the fuzz all the way off and you're using the J-Rad 
the the clone the centaur. Yeah. Well, it's not a clone centaur. It's a replica of a clone centaur. It's a clone, but it's the J Rad Archer. Um, when you've got the fuzz all the way off on the fuzz face, and you use the archer, it still sounds wicked. It still it gives it, it, it gives it like a big boost. Yeah, it? let's like demonstrate a, it. So oh, if, if we if you put the like archer one. on. Okay. There's no fuzz on it, tiny no. bit of volume, but it gives so you that extra gain you need. Which is sick. And that's how we kind of got, if we roll off a bit of the gain on the Archer to about th just over halfway, and then we put the fuzz on with no fuzz, that's how we got our sort of, um, some of the it's album main, tracks. Yeah, from, it's the main like riffing kind of Yeah. Sound. That. <laughs> in itself is a lovely you know you're on the you're on the bridge pickup of a strat it's quite a thin sound but that it's yep. oh it's great and we're on the we're on the clean channel of the amp yeah with just a little bit of reverb So if you've already got yourself a strat, fantastic, all you need to do, if you don't have the pick, the reason we chose this one for the pickups, voiced in the 60s, so you could buy yourself a set of the 50s or 60s vibe sort of pickups that you yeah. can put in your strat, and then you've, the, the amp and these pedals, you know, about 1200 quid for the amp and pedals, because the, the guitar yeah. was 340, yeah. so, and, that, and that's it. So I think, I really enjoyed that. I think yeah. we did a good job. I think it sounds great. So yeah, this has been Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. If you've got anything you want to add or say or comment or suggest, do so in the description. No. Not in the description, do it in the comments, it's better. I was on a roll there. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I no hope you've worries. enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon. I've been Matt. I've been Rabir. And this has been Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. Goodbye. <laughs>